Dear brothers and sisters, peace be with you. Praise the Lord! Is the time to read Bible. Let's continue on Genesis chapter ten. Today we will go through verse twenty-one to thirty-one. Genesis chapter ten recorded after flood Noah's sons Shem, Ham, and Japheth. This descendants. Their clans, nations, and the territories. Verse two to verse five recorded the sons of Japheth. They were fourteen nations. They spread, they spread, they spread out, and they lived in the north of Mediterranean. They were ancestors of European. Verse six to verse twenty. Recorded Ham's descendants and where they lived. The they first lived in North Africa, Egypt, and Ethiopia. Especially, Nimrod crossed over the Red Sea, building his kingdom in Tigris and Euphrates. Moreover, in Canaan. Will is connected to Egypt and the Tigris and Euphrates. They were thirty nations of Ham's descendants. Beginning with verse twenty-one, Shem's descendants were recorded. They were twenty-six nations. Verse twenty-one, sons were the. Sons were also born to Shem, whose older, whose older brother was Japheth. Shem was the ancestor of all the sons of Abel. Abel was the first one to be mentioned as Shem's descendant. Abel was the fourth generation of Shem. The meaning of Abel is crossing, is crossing. He is the ancestor of Hebrew. Sometimes we call Israelites as Hebrews, but actually Hebrew includes more broad. The clan of Abel was the fourth generation of Shem, but Israelites was the was the eighth generation after Abel and. The Belonged it to the clan of Jacob. Therefore, not all the descendants of Abel were Israelites, but Abel was an important person of Shem's descendants. Verse twenty-two. Verse twenty-two. The sons of Shem: Elam, Asher, Aphekzad, Lot, and Aram. There were five nations of the sons of Shem. Elam lived in the north of Persian Gulf, where is Iran? Where is Iran now? So Iranians are the descendants of Shem. Ashur was in the west of Iran, where is Syria now? A fraxet means the stronghold, the stronghold of Chaldean, the ancestor of Chaldeans. Where is Iraq now? Where Lot lived is unknown now. Aram lived in the north of Syria. Verse twenty-three. Verse twenty-three: The sons of Aram, Uz, Hol, Gether, and Meshach. They were four nations of the sons of Aram. Gether lived in the east of Caspian Sea, where is in the north of Iran, close to Russia. Uz and Hol lived in the south of. In the south of Aram, where is Jordan now? 
In addition, Meshach, Meshach moved to the north of Persian Gulf, close to Iran. Verse twenty-four and twenty-five. Verse twenty-four and twenty-five. Afraxed was the father of Shelah, and Shelah the father of Eber. Two sons, two sons were born to Eber. One was named Peleg, because in his time the earth was divided. His brother was named Jactan. Shelah was the son of. Shelah was the son of Afraxed, and Shelah was also the father of Eber. Eber was the ancestor of Hebrews. Eber had two sons, Peleg and Jogten. Jogten. The meaning of Peleg is division, because in his time the earth was divided, and the people began to build. The the Tower of Babel. Because of that, the Lord confused the language of the whole world. From there, the Lord scattered them over the face of the whole earth. Peleg stayed in the area of of Chaldeans and became the ancestor of Abraham. Peleg's brother, Jactan, moved to the south, moved to the south, where is Saudi Arabia now. Moreover, there were thirteen nations from the clan of Jactan. In verse twenty-six to twenty-nine, verse twenty-seven to twenty-nine, Jactan was the father of Amoda. Shelaf, Haz Hazamaveth, Jera, Hadoram, Uzo, Dikla, Oba, Abimian, Sheba, Ophir, Havila, and Joba. All these were sons of Jactan. Jactan was the most Thriving clan of Shem's descend descendants. There were nineteen nations of after him. They lived in the area of Saudi Arabia, and went south to Yemen and Oman. One of Jacob's descendants, Ophir, also means gold of Ophir. In the time of Sol Solomon, obtained gold. The gold was proverbial for its fineness, so that gold of Ophir is several times used as an expression for fine gold. In First King chapter nine, verse twenty-six to twenty-eight. It recorded King Sol King Solomon also built ships at at Ezion Geber, which is near Elath in Edom, on the sh on the shore of the Red Sea, and Hiram sent his men sailors who who knew the sea. To serve in the fleet with Solomon's men, they sailed to Ophir and brought back four hundred twenty, four hundred twenty talents of gold, which they delivered to King Solomon. Ophir probably was in the south of Arabian Peninsula. The gold was shipped. To the north, to the north of the Red Sea, and then delivered past to Canaan until to the final destination, Jerusalem. There were twenty six nations of Shem's descendants recorded here. 
verse thirty and thirty one. Verse thirty and thirty one. The region where they lived stretched from Mishal towards Shephar, in in the eastern hill, in the eastern hill country. These are the sons of Shem by their clans and their language, languages in their territories and the nations. The son of Jactan kept moving to the east, where is now India and other Asian countries, became the, became the ancestor of all Asians. The Bible recorded the descendants of Japheth, Ham, and Shem, as same as it recorded in Genesis chapter four and chapter five. Genesis chapter four first recorded Cain's descendants and their legacy. Legacy, then Genesis chapter five recorded the descendants of Seth, those who were born on the line of life. The Bible recorded in what age they became father, of who. Also had other sons and daughters, and then how old they died. Genesis chapter ten and eleven were recorded in the same way. Genesis chapter ten tells us the descendants of Shem, Ham, and Japheth. They increased in number, filled the earth, and built many nations. Chapter eleven, verse ten to twenty-six, recorded those who were born on the line of life, from Shem to Abraham. It recorded in a similar way, like in Genesis chapter five, in what age an important person became the father of another important person, and kept having and kept. Having other sons and daughters, also in what age they died, from Shem to the tenth generation, who is Abraham, it looks like all descendants who were on the line of the knowledge of good and evil, grow、uh, grow very fast and very successful, even though they had excellent achievements. In human culture, God would not remember them, because God only remembered those who, from the line of life, because listened to God, followed God's leading, and built on their lives. May the Lord helps us and gives us the spirit of wisdom and the revelation. To understand His will and the willing to follow His leading, to overcome temptations from this world, in addition to complete His will and to become His people of testimony. Let's pray. O、oh、Lord, we thank you for your choosing, for you choosing us to become your children. Please help us to keep our eyes on you, to follow you in the life, even though it is a slow and a lonely path. We enjoy your grace. We are enjoying your grace, experiencing your giving, because you are with us all the time. Please bless our, please bless our daily life and the church life. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen.